Barren Cove Resort on South Stradbroke Island, Queensland. They've let us run loose around the place to cook up some great dishes. So strap yourself in and witness some of the most stunning locations you will ever see in this beautiful, family-friendly eco-resort. Whether you're waking up on your mate's couch the next morning after a big party, or you girls are having those sex in the city sleepovers that I know are happening, happening. Lukey and I have got the perfect brunch to start your day. That's right, Joe Mac. It's called the Brecky Brunchy Bomb. The Brecky Bomb. Mate, let's off get the top, started. Straight off, here's the first reason. A, no dishes. B, no dishes. And C, no dishes. So if you can cover A, B, C, we're in front. So all it is, a big... Big mix in the bowl, yes, and we go from there. Righty -o. First of all, what I'm going to do is chop ham. You said it, Joshy. You find it in the cupboard, you use it. You find it in the fridge, you're going to use it. These are all household friendly ingredients. Everyone's got them. That's why it's so easy, yep. so simple. D, no dishes. Okay, champignon mushrooms. Talk to me about this because I keep looking at what's going on here, or are we going to leave that for a bit well, of a secret? Mate, you... secret. Two seconds. Okay, bolt in there. Next is a spring onion. I just, the reason I love using spring onion breakfast time, brunchy time, is it hasn't got that real punch in your face that yep. the brown onion has, but you've still got that nice little subtle sort of onion flavour, which, you know, deserves so, so to be. It's the breakfast onion. It's the breakfast onion, yep, it deserves to be that. every omelette. Okay, grated mozzarella cheese. That's for the little melt. Yeah, and that's going to sort of bind it together with the eggs. The cheese is sort of going to goo together and it's going to set in this little tank loaf that I know you're going to start talking about, about now. Rightio. This is the bread, the two day old stale loaf. Okay, tank loaf, unsliced. I'm gonna knock this baby up until about six portions, about that thick. We'll have a look. So start knocking them up. What do you reckon, about that thick? I reckon that's perfect. Perfect size. All right, so bang, bang, bang. Knock them down to six. And I'll tell you what, I'm gonna bring in that uh, little tin that we're talking about, the champignon. Rightio, so we said no dishes. We got the tin of champignons in the, in the cupboard. We've dropped them out, we've left that, yep. like that. It's the bread cutter. Pushing it down. Ah, here we go. Give it a twist. That's your perfect hole. Look at that. That's magic. Okay, okay. what are you going to do? Well, mate, we're going to keep this. Obviously, no wastage when two chefs are in your kitchen. Okay, we'll use that for breadcrumbs later. Throw it through, I don't know, flour Ve stuffing, chicken stuffing. Vegemite on toast. Vegemite on strong. toast like that. Bang. Happy days. Okay, so pop, no back over. pop back over here, Matty. What I'm going to finish this with is just some ripped basil. Okay, basil basil's another herb that, you know, if you've got it in the fridge, it's perfect for breakfast. Big chunks like that. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a season. I'm gonna give it a good season and a sea salt. And some good chunky cracked black pepper. Do you know what I love about this dish? Tell me. People are watching us making this going, do you know what, I can do that. Exactly That's how right. simple it is. I'm going up. Not I can do it, I'm going to do it. I feel it already, you know? Real easy one, real good one, real good start to the day. Perfect, now. This is sort of, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go with the cream first. Okay, because see those holes there Joshy's making now? When we fill this mix into it, we want it to be quite, sort of, what's the word? Nice and thick and chunky. Real dense, yep. And now fold the cream in just to get every little bit coated with the cream. Okay, that cream's starting to bind in. Now here's a secret ingredient. What is breakfast without eggs? Eggs. Okay, a great start of the day. I'm just going to knock one in at a time. Start with two in there, three in there. Now, the reason I'm starting with three is because I've been, I've been through it quickly, is we don't want it too wet. Right, so if I go and tip all those eggs in and it goes wet, we're in trouble because we can't take them out. One at a time, Yep. we can get thick. Too many, can't take them out. Okay, have a look at that. See, it's starting to loosen right up now. It's almost like an omelette. Oh, mate, that is perfect, the word. The omelette in yep. the bread. The omelet. hidden omelette, the hidden omelette. <laughs> omelet. Now look, at home, right, if you're sitting there going, oh, I haven't got any of those mushrooms, I haven't got any of this, don't worry, if you've got leftover olives, you've got leftover chicken in the fridge, anything you've got leftover, anything that's gonna go with cheese and eggs, is gonna, in, is, a, in a holy bread, is a holy breakfast. Okay, I'm thinking one more, just the yolk. There we go. Mate, they look, I'm ripping snorting. Right, Leaky's making his mix. I got butter on the palette knife, or a bread knife, whatever. Running a rim just around. Obviously, this is our oil in the uh, product and not the hot plate. This is just going to give it some nice colour. Am I right in saying so, Mr. Cowden? Mate, that is perfect. Okay, as you butt up, I'll pop on, yeah? Yep. Run a rim of butter. See, have a look just over here, guys. See, it's just starting to melt. That's what we want. We don't want it burning. We don't want it smoking hot where your bread's going to go uh, and start cooking. Just want it start to. See that? It's just starting to melt. Now, 
You right to go on our start? Yeah, mate, go for it. Okay. One of the fastest butter in, in town. Big spoonfuls. Two nice big spoonfuls right there. There we go. It's a no-plate breakfast. These are straight off the hot plate, straight in your gate. Start getting involved with these great brekkie bombs. What do you reckon? Into it. Mate, that Look at that. Great. Sensational. Now, last one. One there. One more, Joshy. Come on, mate. Let's move. Now, pop over here, Joshy. Start buttering the top. Yes. Okay, because when we get the first flip, little bit on there Joshy. Yep. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give them a little firm sort of push down. Okay, because it's gonna help sort of push it all in and pack it together and all the goodness Let is the gonna start melting out. together. Cool bananas. So put that last bit on. And obviously we're gonna drop the lid on this little baby right now. Yep. Down. Okay, we're gonna let that one go for about two to three minutes because obviously all we're doing is cooking the eggs. And give it a flip. Give it a flip. Rightio, those little babies there, two to three minutes. Lukey, get the flip happening. Have a look at this. Just quickly pop down you can see them starting to bubble and start to ooze out. Go straight under there with a the knife and straight over the top. Look at that. Golden brown. Mate, they're sensational. Ready? Straight Come on, Mister. Let's go. Flip, flip, flip. We'll get this lid back down and we'll just cook that side of the egg for uh, another two or three minutes. You couldn't get a taste like that in a toaster. Look at that. Righty-o. Back down. Another two to three. Yes. We said hangovers, we said sleepovers. We just brekkie bombed it. Lukey's ripping them off the barbie onto the platter. Look at those little glistening golden brown babies. Dookley? Oh, so cheesy, so oniony, and so, so, so sexy. Now, Joshy, so breakfast. we're talking sexy at the moment. Right. You can eat them as simple as that, walk them straight to the boys, straight into breakfast. Or I'll show you a really quick tomato, okay? Simple little rings of tomato. Phantom ram, phantom Avocado. Ram. Avocado. Pop it out. Jamax pre sliced earlier. That's it, fan We're it on. Fan it around. Now, we've used avocado on tomato. If you've got, what, smoked salmon in the fridge, if you've got some shredded chicken and anything you want to set them up, you can, or you can just eat it straight into them like this. Mm.